my mission is to motivate you to look at the bright side of the health. In today's video, we are going to understand IFT therapy. What is this and how it helps? If you are interested to know about this, make sure to watch this video till the end. Let's begin. IFT or else interferential therapy current. I'm pretty sure that if you have experienced any kind of muscle aches, joint related problem and you have been to your physiotherapist or else orthopedic, or else orthopedic surgeon, they must have prescribed you this particular tool. So why this is so popular and how does this work? We are going to discuss that. Interferential current therapy is basically a therapeutic current which is very commonly used by physiotherapists. These therapeutic currents are used to achieve therapeutic benefits like reduction in pain, inner reduction and muscle relaxation. So how does this IFT basically works? So IFT is nothing but a small instrument a device which is very commonly found in physiotherapy setups. But nowadays they are very easily available for patient use as well. This therapeutic device incorporates two alternating currents. So they basically drive two separate channels. One channel produces a constant high frequency sine wave which is a frequency between 4000 to 5000 hertz. The other channel produces a sine wave which is of variable frequency. Now when this current, when they meet each other, they intersect with each other in the body and produces an interference wave which has a very low frequency of somewhere around 1 hertz to 299 hertz. So why there's a requirement of this kind of current over tens? The benefit of this kind of current is that when these two medium frequency currents are applied over the body, they can penetrate the tissues without creating much of uh, disturbance or as much of discomfort. The benefit of this type of wave is that whenever this medium frequency current is applied to the body, it can, penet it can penetrate the tissues with minimum resistance. And when there is minimum resistance, there is less discomfort. And that's why if you have taken TENS therapy and an IFT therapy, you would observe that there are very strong contractions felt in TENS, which is not felt in IFT. So IFT is pretty much more comfortable and convenient uh, to use and it's more soothing and relaxing over TENS therapy. The resulting interference current, the resulting interference current that is produced by IFT therapy are in a range that allows electrical stimulation effectively to the tissue and causes relatively less discomfort. Usually this, usually for this method, the four electrode method is used where four electrodes are placed diagonally opposite to each other. As I have previously mentioned that one set of channels or else cable create very high frequency current and second set of channel creates a variable current and thus the medium frequency current intersect with each other creating a low frequency wave and thus low frequency wave are easily penetrable and thus helps reducing pain without causing much of discomfort. So what are the benefits of using IFT therapy? So IFT therapy is beneficial in achieving therapeutic effects like reduction in pain, reduction in edema, improving in venous return, improvement in the venous return of the blood and also reduction in muscle spasm. So when all IFT is ideally used? So IFT has a many multiple uses. IFT can be used for managing knee pain that's related to osteoarthritis or any kind of other knee related injury. It's helpful in reducing your plantar fasciitis, ankle pain, shoulder pain, back pain, neck pain. So any kind of musculoskeletal pain that you have got which has relatively common muscle spasm and pain is more chronic or subacute at that time, IFT therapy works really well. And if you have got pain that's associated with, uh, that is associated with some sort of swelling or edema, then IFT therapy is more better over tense. When it comes to contraindication or when this IFT therapy cannot be used, some of the common situations where they, uh, the use of this device has to be avoided is first over pregnant uterus. If you are pregnant and if you are having back pain, IFT is not advisable for you because the currents are pretty high of frequency. Second, uh, secondly, if you have got any kind of open wounds or else if you have got any kind of internal implant present in your body, at that time also you cannot use IFT. 
if your pain is from central origin, like if your pain is arising from some neurological reason, uh, that time also IFT will not be helpful for you, not be effective for you and that's why it has not to be used. And if your pain is from some unknown origin or else if your pain is arising from some organ, at that time also IFT will not help you. So these were certain indications and contraindications of IFT. But definitely there are few precautions that you should take before using IFT therapy. First, make sure that the area where you are applying IFT therapy, that area should be dry. It shouldn't be wet in order to prevent hyperconduction or spreading of your current. Make sure that your plugs are always off before starting the device. And also make sure that when you start this device, all the knobs should be at zero. IFT nowadays is easily available for patient use as well, but you might find a little bit difficulty in beginning to understand how to use the device. And that's why it's always helpful to see a physiotherapist or else take guidance of a physiotherapist to understand how to use IFT or else you can also go to a physiotherapy center and get IFT therapy done for yourself to deal your pain. But make sure to keep this decision over your physiotherapist because they understand your situation better they understand your clinical condition better and that's why they would be able to help you out in coming up with the right decision and solving your problem to its best possible way. So I hope through this video I was able to understand what is IFT therapy and how, and how it works and how it can help you. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like this video, share this video with your friends and family members and do not forget to subscribe to Health2 channel. I'll see you in another video. Thank you.